uh, okay so uh, uh, instead of image uh, we're gonna play the video right over there so I'm going to remove the image tag or I'm going to command that right over here and instead of that I'm going to use the uh, iframe to embed the video uh, from the YouTube so just go ahead just go to the YouTube and uh, just open up any video and just um, just hold on okay and uh, in this video what we're gonna sorry for that uh, so just go just click on the share um, and just click on the embed so once you open the embed uh, there will be something like this so what you're gonna do is just copy the iframe from here and just go ahead and paste right over here okay now what you're going to do is uh, you're going to remove this style we don't need this style because yeah, it will be resulting in a weird way okay so just remove that and see now here the source is something like hard coded so we're gonna uh, just give the source or the video ID to play the video now as you can see in the uh, anywhere see this is the video ID where every video is having unique video ID and based on that the YouTube plays the video so what I'm going to do is uh, I will just give the video ID right over here from the uh, array what I'm getting right over right over here see now to get a video ID you should go inside the ID and you will get the uh, video ID right over here can you see that the video ID right over here okay so to retrieve the video ID it should be like items uh, items uh, item dot ID dot uh, something like video ID yeah I think uh, yeah video ID so just paste it and save it now uh, this is not going to work because there are some security reasons and due to that uh, giving an URL directly will not work it will give the error that unsafe value used in resource URL context so to solve this error what we have to do is uh, we have to create the pipe which will just uh, which will just use to solve this error okay and to uh, create a pipe just fire this command ionic g pipe youtube and this pipe will be generated with the name of youtube and what you're going to do is you're going to open that uh, youtube dot i'm um, sorry uh, pipe directory and inside the pipe directory you will find the youtube and inside the youtube you will get this youtube.ts now what you're going to do is uh, you're going to write or you're going to import the safe resource url and dom sanitizer uh, from the platform browser and you're going to create one constructor where you're going to give the private dom, dom sanitizer and inside the transform you will be getting the value string and then the ar arguments so remove that arguments and dot dot and what you're going to do is uh, you're going to return this dot dom dot bypass security trust resource url and www.youtube.com.embed.value so what is basically uh, ha happening over here is like you know, we are getting the video id and we are just passing that video id to the uh, our pipe and the pipe is just uh, bypassing the security trust resource URL and returning the safe and the secured URL back to our video or the back to our iframe right over here so this will just uh, so uh, this is not going to solve this error because we have to use the pipe symbol right over here and we should give the name I'm sorry and we should give the name of uh, our pipe and the name of our pipe is I think YouTube yeah okay um, right over here so 
we are getting the item dot video ID and we are passing that to the YouTube right over here and that YouTube dot uh, DOM and the DOM sanitizer right over here is just uh, bypassing the security trust and all those stuff and returning the secured URL back to our iframe source so um, this will be helpful to uh, getting the trusted URL from the uh, with the help of pipe but right over here we're getting the error so could not be found mm. okay YouTube why we're getting error is yeah I'm um, sorry I just forgot to told you about we have to declare the YouTube pipe inside the um, our app.model.ts app file and it should be right over here okay and after declaring that you're going to uh, put it into the YouTube pipe tool and this will I guess this will solve the error so I hope you understand uh, what exactly happening over here is and let's wait for our output um, okay cool we are getting the things right over here and it's working properly and let's check that it's working or not as you can see uh, the video, video is, is uh, we'll just playing so or we'll just take a new this is the way we can create camera. our own YouTube app right over here and this is uh, this particular um, uh, video is not in a responsive mode right now so if you want to make a responsive and you can make that you know you should write the SCSS code for that or if you don't want to do that you can just go right over here and you can change the width right from the here uh, for to 100 person and height to 360 pixels so this is going to change the width of the YouTube uh, particular video right over here and we go we're going to play the video and it's uh, in this video what playing we're gonna do is, and it's uh, we'll just select working we'll just take a new fine from we can do full screen right away and we will directly and upload this particular everything is working fine in the firebase storage so uh, i will just show you how exactly it works okay uh, so right uh, here, i hope we'll this tutorial was helpful everything in the series if you like these videos, all the series, uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit the thumbs up button for each and every video which you watched and keep supporting me. Bye bye, take care, I'll meet you in my next video.